Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about the inverse of a matrix. How we can calculate the inverse of a matrix? Whether our matrix is a two by two square matrix or three by three square matrix? We are going to watch them uh, both one by one. And uh, in the previous video, I have discussed about how to calculate the adjoint of a matrix. And uh, now it's time to learn how to find the inverse of a matrix. It is very easy if you have if you know how to calculate the adjoint of a matrix so without any further delay let's get started so guys we have a question and the, we are provided with a matrix a 7 4 3 2 and we are asked to find the a inverse by adjoint method and uh, we have a formula that is a inverse a inverse equals to adjoint of matrix A divided by the determinant of the matrix and guys one thing more uh, we can find the determinant of a matrix I'm going to show you how to find the determinant and uh, inverse of a matrix is possible only if our matrix is uh, a non-singular matrix now what is non-singular matrix those matrix whose determinant is not equal to 0 are called non-singular matrix and the matrix whose determinant are equal to 0 are uh, singular matrix. So if we need to first of all before uh, finding the A inverse we need to find its determinant so that we will come to know whether it is singular matrix or non-singular matrix. If uh, in the exam whenever we are asked to calculate the A in, uh, inverse of any matrix then it is sure that it will be non-singular matrix there is no need to uh, worry about and uh, let us find the first of all the determinant of this matrix and then uh, we will find the A inverse so we are provided with we are going to write here solution solution determinant of matrix A determinant is represented by this straight lines which is also called as modulus of matrix A and 7 3 4 2 and draw 2 straight line enclose it by 2 straight lines now what we need to do is we need to multiply the diagonal elements 7 is multiplied by 2 and 3 is multiplied by 4 now what we have we will have here 7 multiplied by 2 and when multiplying the another diagonal element that is 3 and 4 we will take negative minus sign so 7 times 2 minus 3 times 4 we will have 14 minus 12 which is 2 which is not equals to 0 so we need to write a line here since determinant of a is not equals to 0 so inverse inverse of a matrix a is possible now as a determinant of A is not equal to 0 it means our matrix A is non-singular matrix and, and due to the reason it is non-singular matrix its inverse is possible now before calculating the inverse we need to find the adjoint of the matrix we need to calculate the adjoint of the matrix and uh, if you have watched my previous video then you will easily be able to find how to find the adjoint of the matrix in which I have discussed I have told you that adjoint of the matrix is equal to adjoint of matrix A will be equals to cofactor cofactor of matrix A and its transpose so now what we need to do is we have to find the cofactor of this given matrix A so what we will have here cofactor now cofactor cofactor of A will be given by and guys cofactor of matrix a 2 by 2 matrix a is very easy to calculate first what we need to do is we simply need to interchange the position of the elements that 7 and 2 will interchange with each other so, so 2 will occupy the position of 7 and 7 will be written here and uh, we need to interchange the position of this diagonal element 3 and 4 also and we need to change its symbol also if it is positive then we will write negative if the symbol is negative then we will write positive so first of all let us swap then 3 will be 3 
is replaced by 4 and 4 is replaced by 3 and interchange the sign and now we need to change the symbol both are positive so both will take negative sign this is cofactor of a now adjoint of a adjoint of a will be given by cofactor cofactor of a and its transpose so let us rewrite the elements minus 3 7 and its transpose so uh, I hope you know how to find a transpose simply interchange the row with column this is our first row and this is second row so first row becomes first column so first row becomes first column so 2 minus 3 minus 4 and 7 now this is our adjoint of a now we have a inverse equals to adjoint of a divided by the determinant of a so 2 minus 3 minus 4 and 7 is divided by the determinant of a which is equals to 2 so either you can write it as 1 by 2 times 2 minus 3 minus 4 7 or you can simply divide this each and every element by 2 then first will become 2 is divided by 2 then it gets 1 minus 4 is divided by 2 then it will get minus 2 and here it becomes minus oh sorry it is not visible to you simply divide minus 3 by 2 then it will get minus 3 by 2 and then fourth one is 7 by 2 so this is what we are asked to calculate in this numerical and uh, I hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, in the upcoming video I will be discussing about how to find the inverse of a matrix by adjoint method and the given matrix will be 3 by 3 matrix. So guys uh, if you like this video if you find that this video was helpful to you then do uh, like and share this video with your friend and do not forget to subscribe the channel if you do not want to miss any updates because uh, here I will be posting video about uh, different topics which are related to engineering as well as bachelor students and uh, see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself.